you. Sounds like you're all set for victory, right? We have a great opportunity to change this country. I think most of you agree with me, it's headed in the wrong direction right now. It has been for about eight years. Been headed in the wrong direction with its economy, foreign policy, respect for the Constitution. About 65% of the American people agree with that. Well, if you're headed in the wrong direction, what do you do? You change direction. So that's what Donald Trump is offering. He's offering a change in direction so that we can take our economy and it can start growing again so that people can have jobs instead of welfare. He wants to make certain that we stimulate the economy the same way John Kennedy did, the same way that Ronald Reagan did, the way that Barack Obama didn't do. He's going to lower taxes for everybody, particularly for the middle class. She's going to raise taxes. What do you like better? Would you rather have, would you rather have about 20% more in your pocket rather than 20% taken out of your pocket by Hillary Clinton and brought to Washington? Who knows? She may even give it to the Clinton Foundation. We don't know what she'll do with it. But we know she, she won't do anything intelligent with it. She's had 30 years to fix Washington. And look how bad it is. So, for me, for Donald Trump, for people who think the way we do, for Ronald Reagan and John Kennedy, the smartest thing was lower taxes, put more money in your hands, and you're going to go out, you're going to buy things, you're going to stimulate the economy, and it's going to create more jobs for people, good jobs, so that the youngsters who graduate from this school have good jobs to look forward to. They don't have to worry about where they're going to work. We haven't had that in a long time. He's also going to lower corporate tax from 35 to 15 percent. That'll bring a lot of corporations back to America hmm? with a lot of jobs. No, I can't get a connection. He's going to renegotiate the trade agreements like NAFTA. You think this is fair? If you make an automobile in the United States and you send it to Mexico, they put an 18 percent tax on it. If an automobile is made in Mexico and sent here, there's no tax put on. So why do you think all the automobile companies move to Mexico? Why do you think all the supply companies move to Mexico? Because you can make a lot more money on a car in Mexico than you can in the United States. Donald Trump will end that on day one. We'll have cars manufactured in America, we'll have steel manufactured in America, and we'll have lots of jobs in this country, and we'll be growing at three and four and five percent. Not the ridiculous one percent under Barack Obama and Hillary Clinton. The second thing he's gonna do is he's gonna change our foreign policy completely. It begins with the following. Do you know that we're at war? Well, if we don't know we're at war, they're at war with us. Radical Islamic terrorism has declared war against us. They've attacked us in the last year over and over again. We've had more attacks in the last year than we've had at any time since September 11. And I believe a lot of that comes about because of the weakness of Hillary Clinton and Barack Obama. Because of their, because of the terrible mistakes they made in pulling out of Iraq and removing, removing Gaddafi from Libya where they created another sanctuary for terrorists who want to come here and kill us. Well, Donald Trump will stand up to radical Islamic terrorism. He's gonna build, he's gonna build our army to 550,000 troops. He's gonna build our navy to 350 ships. He's gonna increase the size of our air force. He's gonna modernize our nuclear fleet. He's gonna make us once again the kind of country nobody plays around with and nobody pushes around. Since Hillary Clinton reset the relationship with Russia and gave up the defense of Poland and the Czech Republic for nothing, Russia's been pushing us all around because Russia figured out we have a patsy. 
We have somebody who will give us something for nothing. She gave us